Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, sir, uh, I have a question. One of uh, my students, her name is uh, Vishnu Priya. She is a Hindu. And uh, when I was coming over here, she sent a message to me and asked a question. That is Allah male or female? Why does Quran use he if there is no gender implied? Asakhurullah, I'm asking this question from you, but uh, anyway, this is a question. Someone asked. And uh, one more, I want to ask a question. One, one question, one question. We're okay, getting sir. late. <laughs> yes. Ah, so one question, the question posed is, that is Allah male or female, and why do we use he for Allah? And this question troubled me for a long time, and I could not get the answer myself, and until I went to the head of the department of Arabic in Medina, I stayed with him for a few, few weeks, couple of weeks, and after learning Arabic a little bit, and I'm sure you should not have much, then I came up with the answer and I checked up the answer with him and he was very happy. In Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got no gender. He is neither male, neither female. There is nothing like him. The moment you say male, that means similar to some male. If you say female, so he has no gender. But why in Arabic do we say, Kul hu Allah ad? Say, he is Allah one and only. Why do we use the word huwa? Huwa in Arabic means he. The reason is that in English, we have three gender, male, female and neuter. In Arabic, we have only two genders, male and female. And there are certain criteria for a gender to be, gender to be female. For example, if it is feminine by nature, like Ummu, Uktu, it becomes female. Allah is not feminine by nature, correct. If it is pairs, Ainun, Yadun, it becomes female. Allah is not pair. Qul Allah wad, Sayyid Allah one and only. Then there's another rule that if it has an alif in the ending, a, ah, it becomes feminine. Allah doesn't have that. So by default, Allah could either, either use huwa or hiya. By default, it becomes huwa. So Allah by nature has got no gender. He's neither female, he neither male. In English language, God is for female and goddess. God is for male and goddess is for female. In Arabic, because there is no neutral gender, instead of teaching, instead of using hua or hia, Almighty God uses hua. But Almighty God has got no gender. By default, it becomes hua. That's the reason it says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not similar to anything in this world in Surah Shura chapter 42 verse number 11 and walam yakul laku fanad there's nothing like him so by default it becomes dua as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got no gender